What's up everybody? Got done in Skegway and had a great time there. Uh, a lot of fun, but now we are back on the boat and we are in a special place in one of the biggest protected areas um, or pieces of land protected in all of the world. Uh, yeah. It's uh, Glacier National Park. And if you can see up there, a glacier. Just right there. So they're, they're all throughout here, but that's one of the most impressive ones we've seen. Yeah. Um, it's like getting wall of ice. Craziness. Got anything to add, Leaf? Oh, sorry. Um, we're hoping, we're hoping to see your calve, they call it. The calve? Yeah, it's called calving, where the chunk breaks off Ooh. and crashes into the water. They call it white thunder. Huh. So you have like all these little waterfalls. They start at the tippy top, almost, you know? Yeah, it's crazy. The rats of the sky are out in full force, trying <laughs> to get french fries from the little kids. That's just crazy there though. Yeah. Beautiful. So we're coming to you live from the Marjorie Glacier. Um, beautiful glacier, you really cannot tell how big that sucker is. Like, it's, I don't even know. I don't even know. Well, for instance. How to, how to give you a reference. So, well, for instance, like our boat, we're on the 14th floor of our boat, and that is probably double. Oh, no doubt. The size overall of, of the boat. So you're talking 28 stories tall. You know, you, you hear video, pictures don't give a lot of places justice and do them justice. And this is one of the cases right here where you're looking at a, a glacier that, like, it's all ice. I mean, like, it's crazy that it's 28, 30 stories tall. Um, and then obviously the mountains around <clears throat> with small little waterfalls and creeks coming out of the mountains, you know, because this is summertime and things are melting. You know, a lot of that run off in the mountain, the snow and some of the ice. I think you'll see that the water is a little bit more of like a- uh, it's like green. It's like a greenish color, but it, it has a little bit more- Silt. Silt in it, yeah. From a lot of the glaciers, um, a lot of, there's a lot of mineral value to that. So I guess a lot of the plankton will come in and smaller fish and bait fish will come in and whales will come into the areas. That's what they were still saying yesterday. So mm -hmm. if I am wrong about that, but that's, then don't blame me. That's what we think. That's what we think. That's what we think. That's what we think. But really beautiful, beautiful place, Crazy. man. Unbelievable. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. Unbelievable. So Alicia was saying, the lady was saying, but that little dude. The right lady is a park ranger for the National Park Service. So she knows what's up. So, over there. Straight ahead. Well, a little bit off off the port side of the boat. Probably about uh, 11.30 or so, right there. That is a glacier as well, but. Receding glacier. Yeah, a receding glacier, there you go. So, I mean, I guess all of these glaciers are receding at some point, right? This one right here has a lot more feeding it. You can see way up into the mountains, that's all like glaciers. I mean, basically way up there. Mm -hmm. So they said that's the, the redheaded stepchild right there. Cause it doesn't look like a glacier, you know? And you're right next to this big right ginormous. This, this is like Cinderella. That's like, I don't know, who's like an ugly. Cruella de Vil. Ariel and Ursula. That's They're right. both sea creatures, right? <laughs> These are both glaciers, but except they look different. <laughs> there you go. It's like dirty and it's coming from, you can see where like the mud line is over there. Yeah. It's coming from that drain. How gorgeous is that? That goes all the way up in there. I know, like how Like as nuts. far as your eye can see, I don't know if he can get it on camera, literally to the peaks of those mountains, it is blue ice. Oh dang, I got really far up there. It's grainy footage, but overall, like look. All right, so watch. Yeah. I'll back off. Watch. So we go. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. It just doesn't seem real. It goes way up in there. That's like, uh, probably like, I want to say 10 miles. I'm going to say 10 miles. So, 
one really cool fact about this glacier a lot of the glaciers that are in like these bottoms have like rivers underneath them mm -hmm. someone told me that some of the biggest largest bass in the entire world live under these glaciers but nobody knows about it is that true <laughs> oh shut up <laughs> Shut up. No, it's not. Brody, true. if you put that in this video, I literally will kill you. I will put That's it in there. True. <laughs> That's, That's true. true. Shut up. Why are you such a jerk? It's okay. So, if you look up into there, like basically, I got a little bit of video of the way the glacier was up that away. Now it goes directly back for another however long. So, huh nut how much ice is like forever long it seems that way anyway mm -hmm. it's a pretty place okay so this it's is all from landslides from the mountains so this is this is a glacier yes so it doesn't look like a glacier it looks like a bunch of rock to me it's called the grand pacific glacier the grand pacific glacier mm -hmm. there you go it's two miles wide wow it's like a whole bunch of rocks so i guess there are all these landslides from the sides, these mountains and stuff have poured on rock and everything else on top of them. The only thing that's why I called BS is because there was some like grass growing up yeah, on top of them. Yeah, so the... they said in some parts the rock and stuff on top that's fallen is three feet deep. Wow, so, so grass. So why is... couldn't grass grow? I, I don't know. I guess so, but you would think it would like. Okay, so the moral of this story is Jacob was just arguing with me about whether or not this was a glacier, and I in fact was listening to the park ranger this morning, and I heard her say all these facts, and he wants to argue with me. I wanted to challenge her, not argue. It was it was just a nice, friendly challenge. No, all. it wasn't. It was like, hey, look, I just think that. There's this... no way. There's no way this is a glacier. <laughs> it's look at the dirt. Brody, we know we're gonna. Brody, this put out. this. <laughs> you know. You know how it is. Hey, it's all good. And guess what? The bet was loser has to. We can't put that in the video, so you messed it all up. That's fine. If he doesn't do, then. Yeah. Anyway, so. Honestly, that looks probably what like, if you went to like Mars. It does look. Really you know. Weird like that. Yeah. Crazy though. The Grand Pacific Glacier. Is that what it is? Grand, Grand Pacific. Pacific Glacier. How many it's miles long? 35 miles 35 long. 35 miles long. Mm -hmm. And the reason it looks like a whole bunch of rocks is because on the side of the mountain, landslides and all that good stuff has filled a whole bunch on, on top of this glacier. Now, I did challenge Alicia and said this is not a glacier. There's no way. Because there was grass growing on top of it. And I guess she is correct. So, no, not I guess. She is correct. It is a glacier. So, she is correct. She is correct. She is correct. It is a glacier. So, there you have it. The rockiest yeah. glacier ever. You see this brown speck right here that's kind of moving? On yeah. In, that's a bear. <sighs> no. Cool. We don't have binoculars. <laughs> That's a bear. Yeah, it's the closest we've been to a bear all week. About six miles away. Wop wop. Now we haven't gone any tours, but. Look at us. This is us. This is us. Jacob. Jacob? Yeah. I'm Kevin. Alicia. Alicia, nice to meet you. Yeah. Ready? We are. All right, y'all. We're here. Catch a cat. Going salmon fishing this morning. Kevin. Myself, my wife, Alicia. I don't know anything about salmon fishing, so we're gonna hope that Kevin knows a little bit about it. Yeah, we hope. We hope, Kevin, that you'll uh, put us on some good stuff. <laughs> Wait for you to start. Well, update, we're out here, backing it out. You ready to go out there? Getting ready so, to get after cool it. Cool thing is, what, so pink salmon, there's king salmon, and then there's co-hosts. Co so, there's also chumps, but chumps. haven't caught one yet. All right. You don't really want to catch them. They're fun to play. They're just not, not the best as far as eating. Yeah, they're not the deal for eating. Okay, so that is that is the plan. Go out here and see if we can get after it. It's like covered. It's got like nice cushy seeds. I said, too bad we can't get this on your best boat. I know, be awesome. but you know, it's okay. Okay, so uh, I don't know. We're off. It's a rainy day. windshield wipers on this thing. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's like a man. car. Oh. Oh, oh, man. I got one up on you. Okay, very cool. <laughs> Interesting. The tide switch is at 8.30. 8 30. Yep. Okay. Man, it's pretty out here. 
I'm trolling until that gets a little bit. Yeah, you're totally fine. I can see it. A little bit of rain. So why do the salmon get in this little area right here? Does it seem like it's just more of a sort of deep trough sort of kind of or no? Well, this is a big, big island right here. Yeah. This comes from both sides. Come around here. They go into the river just four miles up here. Okay. And in up tiger, this way. Yeah. Okay. They're stacking up on the shoreline. Getting ready, sort of staging to get ready to go in. Yeah, that makes sense. There you have it. A little stage. Stage and spot. Pre spawn, typical bass fishing. Interesting. So what what the heck's up with these things? I mean I've seen these things, but I don't even know like it's like a sort of an attractor. Gives the bait some action. Huh. Walks around in water. I see those things and I'm like King Salmon rig right here. Okay. I'm like interesting. I don't know. I mean seriously compared to like anything you use, this is all just like <laughs> Have you ever used downriggers before? I have not. It's not going to be very exciting for you because you're not holding the rod. You're not yeah, yeah, yeah. So you basically. For the fish to bite. Yeah, yeah. So downriggers basically just allowing you to get to a certain depth. Yeah. yeah. Interesting to just even understand it a little bit. So with the king salmon, king salmon rig, see the bearings drop yeah. off of them? Yeah. Ah. It's different for different flashers. So what's up with that thing jumping? I was like a little. And it's probably a king salmon. <laughs> Pink salmon, huh? I did get that on video. Thank you, Leash. Hey, this battery's dying. Ah, uh, well, don't use that one. Use uh, a. Yeah, we're gonna go. The counter on there. Yeah. If I can send it down to 75, try that until we start marking the fish. Yeah. Just as we go, fish change depth. And boss got that 30 pounder right off that point. How about that? Uh, Bait's down there. You like to have it pretty loose. Like that. Not bad. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah. So that line is tight in the clip that I put it in. Yeah. It the clicks off. Big enough. Yeah. yeah. It'll pop out of that clip all on its own. If you catch a little fish, like a baby king, we call them shakers because you have to shake them off the hook. Huh. Fishing game doesn't want you to touch them. Yeah. Or net them. Huh. So you just get a gaff hook and pop them off. Baby king. The baby. The baby king. Interesting. Yep. Little baby king. So baby kings get the pass. Let me bring him over here. There you go, buddy. Black mouth and purple back. Yeah. Interesting. Some more gills out or anything. Yeah. I gotcha. And it takes off, running her own. Huh. So these rods are like crazy limber. That's interesting. Huh. Yeah, really pretty. Yeah. So you have like pre rigged and everything else? Uh, a few of them. Three baits usually. Yeah. Yeah, when it gets hot, it's hot. Oh, and you, so you gotta go, 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 go. Screaming at people. Get that one. No, get this one. Baby King. No, baby king, I tell you. What's up? So they have to get to a certain size. You know. 28 inches. 28 inches. Okay. We'll play around on the reef now and see if we can mark some more fish because I haven't seen a whole lot of Yeah, there. I haven't seen a ton. So you use down riggers like with lures and stuff as well quite a bit or not really? Yeah, yeah. We use spoons, the squid we call hoochies. Yeah. The thing that's on this thing right here we call a herring helmet. A herring Stick helmet. The head of the herring in there and I seen it like this little thing right here. A herring helmet. Sort of keeps them like locked in. Yep. Yeah, that one's shot though. Yeah, yeah. It sticks the hook in them so it gives them a curve. And yeah, and just rotate. Down. But it's got to be perfect. A lot of people are real picky about that. 60 revolutions a minute or whatever. <laughs> That's crazy. Like I'm, I'm fickle like that with bass fishing. Like I'm pretty dang fickle. It's more just like common sense stuff. Like you don't have to get to the point where you're like, oh my gosh, I mean, it's not rotating in the right way. Or, like, you know if the lure's not acting right, but like, you know, with, with live bait, I'm like, eh. You can see them down there. Down there in 150, loaded down there. Now the bait above them, there's quite a few fish, I think. It's hard to tell, you see some up here in 45. 
All right, Ty just changed. Take your time right there, see what we got. A little, a little strong. A little. No, like silver is good. There you go. Silver salmon. Silver salmon. That's what's up. How about that leash? Not huge, but he's a keeper if you want to keep him. Yeah, silver salmon. That's what you want. Yo, bro. Settle down. Settle down. You got that? Like that? Knock him off. Not yet. Knock him upside the head. <laughs> Call it good. Yeah. Cool. That's silver. Awesome. Now, what's up with the silver? So it's silver salmon, but it's uh, like, is that like normal? Is that like a lot of, like, is there a lot of silvers? Is it like a male? Is it like a female? Like, I don't know if it like. Oh, silver is a species. Okay. That's kind of a native term for it. Okay. Um, they get a lot bigger. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but it's a delicacy. It's a small guy. You know, he's just a good, he's a good keeper yep. size. It's better, go, it's better than a pink salmon. So. Is it? Aren't you pretty? Oh, that was really good. Really good. Yeah. Got us one. Okay. Ice box? Yeah. Got one that there. there you cool. go, bro. That's why I said I mar I marked that bait ball, which will move around a little bit. I just like I'm sorry I had to mark it. I was like, it was the it was the bass fisherman hitting me. Like he's gotta be around that so gun. I'm like, I had to. I, I don't know the Garmin's that well. You know, so I'm like, well, I'm like I I love I love it when you when it has has a lot to do with like how you move the boat, targeting those fish, and like you know that's when it's fun because like there's a rhyme or reason you have to like adjust and you you know something that maybe not everybody else does. And that's always a cool deal. Yesterday, both the colors that we got wrong is the green flasher. Okay, come on. Get it. We got to get on it. It's cool though. Back to that yeah, ball? I will absolutely. What was it, 45 and 60 feet? Yeah, I think it was 45 and 60 is what we had. Man, I, I'm like, you, you pretty much catch like the ugliest kind of fish though. Bass are like not that pretty. Smallmouth are. Look at, look at them loaded. They're down there loaded in 75 right there. 75? Yeah. Yep. They're like loaded right there. There was like a dang pile of them. It was crazy. So when you troll, like you can troll and you'll be like, you'll turn and you might come down. There you go, leash. Hooked up. Take your time. Take your time. You what? Don't let him jump. <laughs> Probably really a little. Good thing from the speaker. Yep. Another silver. silver. Pull up, pull, pull up, pull him 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 up. <laughs> leash. Sorry. There you go. Yeah, it's it. Okay. Another silver. Pink salmon. Yeah, like that's interesting. I got it. Bonk. <laughs> and now he's there, at least. Yes. Put him right here. Yeah. Now, hold on. Let me just. Yeah, actually. Pink salmon that have spots in the tail. They have really, really fine, small scales. I see them, yeah. And they don't have teeth. Okay. Not a lot compared to other salmon. Pink leash. Yeah, they were all over that little deal. No, we're going back. <laughs> all right, you want to get a picture, leash? Sure thing. I right, gotta pick him up. I'm going to. Pick him up, pull pull them down. How do you hold a salmon? Like I guess you Way just out in front of you so it looks giant. <laughs> 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 oh, let's get the other, other side. side. Other side, there you go. Make him look big. All right. There you go. Chuck him in there. Good job. Good job, Leash. Killing it. Holy. You're <laughs> 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 getting like dumb, huh? The right, the right one is the lucky side right now. So you just pop it off? How do you just pull? Okay. I can't tell what the heck those beggars are. Look for spots on the I am. 
Yeah. Is that another pink one? Pink salmon, yeah. Pink salmon. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. You're gonna hurt yourself, buddy. Dude, unreal. Pop him in the head. I know. It's okay. Sorry, bro. You done messed up. You done messed up, Felicia. Throw him. Bada bing, bada boom. So what's like the limit on salmon? One king per day, and then you can keep six coho or six pink or a combination of ten total per person. Okay. You can get pretty wild. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, you, oh, yeah, you swap those out. How big are those? Like, um, I don't know, like, what, like four pounders? Four or five? I don't know. Probably, yeah. I mean, you don't know. You know the weight of, like, all the. Uh, yeah, it's different. Yeah. I'm sure. We're like 200 something right now. Or 100, yep. Yeah. We're 200 something, but we'll make the rotation back. Yeah, down to 100 probably. See, at least, you know, when, you, when that tide switch, you see how that? Like, my man already knows what's up. There were some biggings down there and like 150 down there on that one, on that, like right below that bait ball on that one little hump. There were some dang biggings. Like there ain't no doubt. Like it wasn't no dang, trust me. From what I seen, it was freaking big. Which I mean, I don't know, you know, I don't know what all, <laughs> you know, heck, I don't, I don't know exactly, but it was just like, dang. I seen them on like, yeah. That whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Hey, I gladly showed Jacob the whistle tip video. Woo. He had never seen it until a couple weeks ago. I'm That's like, hilarious. bro, he'd never seen this video. Woo -woo. Seaplanes everywhere. Yeah. Holy smokes. He's about 20 Yeah, they crashed right next to the ship. I know, I'm like, what the heck? Six, six people died in that. Holy smokes. There was probably 12, 13 total seaplanes. Oh, yeah. oh, we're right there on the whole deal. There's, there's a method to the madness. Somebody's gonna lock up. Shallow. Yeah. Pull back up to 170. Right to him. Nothing crazy, but. Little king, maybe? Is that? Ah, yeah, baby king. Little baby king. And another one. We'll get you. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. We'll get you back. Salty. No. That's like a rockfish, I think. Is that a rockfish? Yeah. Oh, rocky. Heck yeah. Yeah, they're really good eating. Are they? Yeah. We got old Rocky, man. Old Rocky, what's up, my man? I can only imagine. Like uh, a Feels like these things. You got spikes on the gill plates, too. Oh, there we go. All right, we'll leave them alone then, sucker. All right, you ain't gonna get messed with them. I'm gonna just go ahead and throw you in there. Call good. Get a little bond first. Yep. There you go, buddy. To be cool. Sorry. Fish. They're what? Non-pelagic. Non-pelagic. Basically, you can only keep one a day of those ones. Typically, the colorful rockfish, one a day. Yeah. They take 15 years to mature sexually, and then they can live for 75 years. They can be eaten. Holy smokes! And the darker ones, they can keep five. Of them. They the can, they can live to be that. Dang, that's unbelievable. Should be good there. Please. Uh, yeah. 
there. You pull him up? Smaller. Yeah, you're like, tunk. Yes. It's a walleye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't hurt your head. You do, you do your thing. So these ones you don't keep? These are like uh He's been hooked a couple times. You could keep him, he's pretty small for a silver gray, those things are getting giant. Oh, uh, okay. He's gonna have a tough time. I mean I think he was down there hundred feet. Yeah. Feels like it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Another Rocky. Keep five of those. I mean one. Dusky, there we go. Check them out. Heck yeah. What is that called? Dusky? Hold them like a bass. Yeah, it looks just like a bass. <laughs> it does. I took a pound and a half. -er. I took a pound twelve. A little, little, little chunky. Sorry. Do you want a picture? Sure. Okay. I caught a bass. Ish. Hey, you might. Oh, something on. They were up there. There's a full school of them. There's probably like 10 or 15 of them. So, caught quite a few fish, caught some rock, rockfish, some silver, a couple uh, pink salmon, right? It's pink salmon? Okay. Yep. So we got those. And now we're after a king salmon. Now that is... We have two hours approximately. Two hours. To catch one. To get it going now. We're going to go haul butt back up in a little zone and go try to find some of them suckers. Yeah. But it's cool. Unique. Yeah. Very pretty out here. Also, she's got all the Rice Krispie treats you ever wanted. She got about seven. They said there's 40 bars. She's ate 39 of them. That's not true. <laughs> I ate all of them. Oh. Caught somebody else's line. <laughs> it was a big one. Sucker was trying to try to get on the best fishing hole. We had to switch it up. Trying to get in on our fishing hole. It's okay. You want to let it go out a little bit? That's probably good. Yeah, I figured it. Out. All that bait there is just like hungry fish. Come on. Are right, you salmon dinged up on the little nub? You got some bait. Come on. Come on. Slam. Here. Easy. Seven. How? They wanted to take a little bit of a munch before they went up that creek. Say, hey, look, let me get a little, one, one more little bite. Last minute. Hooked up. I don't know. Still. I'll bring him over this way. Pink salmon. Someone gonna try to play us, man. That's a bigger pink salmon, though. Yeah, yeah. It's a bigger one, yeah. Someone gonna try to play the game. I see you now. All right. TKO'd ya. you. You done, done messed up, Felicia. It was last minute too. Yeah. It's like a last troll right there, Mike. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Open him up. All right, stop that. Show you on you. Oh. There we go. Heck yeah. They're here longer. That's what sucks. I know. Like, honestly, they need those hoses on bass boats too. You, yeah, but you get blood and stuff on bass boats. Heck yeah, man. That was good stuff. There you go. You got them all. Got four salmon, two Rockies. Not too bad. Hop, skip, and a jump. That's what's up. Yo, leash. I'm super excited to like. To cook yeah. them salmon up? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh, 
All right, guys. There it is. The end. So we got three pink salmon, and then one. Uh, what'd you say it was? Rockfish. No. We had two rockfish, and then we had a. What's another silver? A silver salmon, I guess. Silver side. I don't know if it's side. Uh, anyway, long story short, had a great yeah. time. You had fun. Yeah, it was fun. It's a good time. Yeah. It really was. We're bummed we have to go. Absolutely. And one other thing we got to thank our captain, Kevin. Kevin looking out. You got to come on out and say what's up to everybody. Howdy, folks. So <laughs> we had a great time. We appreciate you letting us tag along and have a good time. Anytime. Hey. Going out again now. So he's going right back out. Yeah. We're going to go run and we got to We're silver. Silver. It is. Just like that. This is where we call it the end. End of the trip. I know. So we've checked out a lot of different things. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Cruise was cool, was interesting. Uh, recommend it just for the Alaskan side of it. You've been able to stop multiple places, check them out. Victoria was actually really cool. We didn't actually record uh, a lot of the stuff we did there, but. We're only there a few hours, so. Yeah, so we didn't really get to have a lot of time spent. But really cool spot. Overall, fun place. Uh, enjoyed the whole trip. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. So let us know, comment below. And as always, subscribe to the channel. I wanted to, to do this video just to show you guys a little bit of like the other side of it all. And I catch a couple salmon, which was interesting. Like it wasn't like, like it wasn't like crazy awesome, but it was pretty cool. And then on top of the trout, it was pretty awesome too. So let me know how you guys liked it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. We'll do another better next time.